In mathematics, the four-color theorem, or the four-color map theorem, states that, given any separation of a plane into contiguous regions, producing a figure called a map, no more than four colors are required to color the regions of the map so that no two adjacent regions have the same color. Two regions are called adjacent if they share a common boundary that is not a corner, where corners are the points shared by three or more regions. For example, in the map of the United States of America, Utah and Arizona are adjacent, but Utah and New Mexico, which only share a point that also belongs to Arizona and Colorado, are not. Despite the motivation from coloring political maps of countries, the theorem is not of particular interest to map makers. According to an article by the math historian Kenneth May, maps utilizing only four colors are rare, and those that do usually require only three. Books on cartography and the history of map making do not mention the four color property. Three colors are adequate for simpler maps but an additional fourth color is required for some maps, such as a map in which one region is surrounded by an odd number of other regions that touch each other in a cycle. The five-color theorem, which has a short elementary proof, states that five colors suffice to color a map and was proven in the late 19th century. However, proving that four colors suffice turned out to be significantly harder. A number of false proofs and false counterexamples have appeared since the first statement of the four-color theorem in 1852. The four-color theorem was proven in 1976 by Kenneth Apple and Wolfgang Haken. It was the first major theorem to be proved using a computer. Apple and Haken's approach started by showing that there is a particular set of 1,936 maps, each of which cannot be part of a smallest-sized counterexample to the four-color theorem. Apple and Haken used a special-purpose computer program to confirm that each of these maps had this property. Additionally, any map that could potentially be a counterexample must have a portion that looks like one of these 1,936 maps. Showing this required hundreds of pages of hand analysis. Apple and Haken concluded that no smallest counterexamples exist because any must contain, yet do not contain, one of these 1,936 maps. This contradiction means there are no counterexamples at all and that the theorem is therefore true. Initially, their proof was not accepted by all mathematicians because the computer-assisted proof was infeasible for a human to check by hand. Since then the proof has gained wider acceptance, although doubts remain. To dispel remaining doubt about the apple Haken proof, a simpler proof using the same ideas and still relying on computers was published in 1997 by Robertson, Sanders, Seymour, and Thomas. Additionally in 2005, the theorem was proven by Georges Gondier with General Purpose Theorem Proving Software precise formulation of the theorem. The intuitive statement of the four-color theorem, i.e., that given any separation of a plane into contiguous regions, called a map, the regions can be colored using at most four colors so that no two adjacent regions have the same color, needs to be interpreted appropriately to be correct. First, all corners, points that belong to three or more countries, must be ignored. In addition, bazaar maps can require more than four colors. Second, for the purpose of the theorem, every country has to be a connected region or contiguous. In the real world, this is not true, because all the territory of a particular country must be the same color. Four colors may not be sufficient. For instance, consider a simplified map. In this map, the two regions labeled A belong to the same country and must be the same color. This map then requires five colors, since the two A regions together are contiguous with four other regions, each of which is contiguous with all the others. A similar construction also applies if a single color is used for all bodies of water, as is usual on real maps. For maps in which more than one country may have multiple disconnected regions, six or more colors might be required. A simpler statement of the theorem uses graph theory. 
The set of regions of a map can be represented more abstractly as an undirected graph that has a vertex for each region and an edge for every pair of regions that share a boundary segment. This graph is planar. It can be drawn in the plane without crossings by placing each vertex at an arbitrarily chosen location within the region to which it corresponds, and by drawing the edges as curves that lead without crossing within each region from the vertex location to each shared boundary point of the region. Conversely any planar graph can be formed from a map in this way. In graph theoretic terminology, the four-color theorem states that the vertices of every planar graph can be colored with at most four colors so that no two adjacent vertices receive the same color. Or for short, every planar graph is four-colorable. History Early proof attempts Mobius mentioned the problem in his lectures as early as 1840. The conjecture was first proposed on October 23, 1852 when Francis Guthrie, while trying to color the map of counties of England, noticed that only four different colors were needed. At the time, Guthrie's brother, Frederick, was a student of Augustus de Morgan at University College London. Francis inquired with Frederick regarding it, who then took it to de Morgan. According to de Morgan, a student of mine, Guthrie, asked me today to give him a reason for a fact which I did not know was a fact, and do not yet. He says that if a figure be any how divided and the compartments differently colored so that figures with any portion of common boundary line are differently colored, four colors may be wanted but not more. The following is his case in which four colors are wanted. Query cannot a necessity for five or more be invented, F.G. Perhaps one of the two Guthries published the question in the Athenaeum in 1854. Ing de Morgan posed the question again in the same magazine in 1860. Another early published reference by Arthur Calley in turn credits the conjecture to de Morgan. There were several early failed attempts at proving the theorem. De Morgan believed that it followed from a simple fact about four regions, though he didn't believe that fact could be derived from more elementary facts. This arises in the following way. We never need four colors in a neighborhood unless there be four counties, each of which has boundary lines in common with each of the other three. Such a thing cannot happen with four areas unless one or more of them be enclosed by the rest, and the color used for the enclosed county is thus set free to go on with. Now this principle, that four areas cannot each have common boundary with all the other three without enclosure, is not, we fully believe, capable of demonstration upon anything more evident and more elementary, it must stand as a postulate. One alleged proof was given by Alfred Kemp in 1879, which was widely acclaimed. Another was given by Peter Guthrie Tate in 1880. It was not until 1890 that Kemp's proof was shown incorrect by Percy Hewood, and in 1891 Tate's proof was shown incorrect by Julius Peterson. Each false proof stood unchallenged for 11 years. In 1890, in addition to exposing the flaw in Kemp's proof, he would prove the five-color theorem and generalized the four-color conjecture to surfaces of arbitrary genus. See below. Tate, in 1880, showed that the four-color theorem is equivalent to the statement that a certain type of graph must be non-planar. In 1943, Hugo Hadwiger formulated the Hadwiger conjecture, a far-reaching generalization of the four-color problem that still remains unsolved. Proof by computer during the 1960s and 1970s German mathematician Heinrich Heesch developed methods of using computers to search for a proof. Notably he was the first to use discharging for proving the theorem, which turned out to be important in the unavoidability portion of the subsequent apple Haken proof. He also expanded on the concept of reducibility and, along with Ken Dura, developed a computer test for it. Unfortunately, at this critical juncture, he was unable to procure the necessary supercomputer time to continue his work. Others took up his methods and his computer-assisted approach. While other teams of mathematicians were racing to complete proofs, Kenneth Apple and Wolfgang Haken at the University of Illinois announced 
on June 21, 1976, that they had proven the theorem. They were assisted in some algorithmic work by John A. Koch. If the four-color conjecture were false, there would be at least one map with the smallest possible number of regions that requires five colors. The proof showed that such a minimal counterexample cannot exist through the use of two technical concepts. An unavoidable set is a set of configurations such that every map that satisfies some necessary conditions for being a minimal non-four-colorable triangulation must have at least one configuration from this set. A reducible configuration is an arrangement of countries that cannot occur in a minimal counterexample. If a map contains a reducible configuration, then the map can be reduced to a smaller map. This smaller map has the condition that if it can be colored with four colors, then the original map can also. This implies that if the original map cannot be colored with four colors, the smaller map can't either and so the original map is not minimal. Using mathematical rules and procedures based on properties of reducible configurations, Apple and Haken found an unavoidable set of reducible configurations thus proving that a minimal counterexample to the four-color conjecture could not exist. Their proof reduced the infinitude of possible maps to 1,936 reducible configurations which had to be checked one by one by computer and took over a thousand hours. This reducibility part of the work was independently double-checked with different programs and computers. However, the unavoidability part of the proof was verified in over 400 pages of microfiche, which had to be checked by hand. Apple and Hacken's announcement was widely reported by the news media around the world, and the math department at the University of Illinois used the postmark stating, four colors suffice, at the same time the unusual nature of the proof, it was the first major theorem to be proven with extensive computer assistance, and the complexity of the human verifiable portion, aroused considerable controversy. In the early 1980s, rumors spread of a flaw in the Apple, Hake and Proof. A Ulrich Schmidt at RWTH Arkin examined Apple and Hacken's proof for his master's thesis. He had checked about 40% of the unavoidability portion and found a significant error in the discharging procedure. In 1986, Apple and Haken were asked by the editor of Mathematical Intelligence to write an article addressing the rumors of flaws in the proof. They responded that the rumors were due to a misinterpretation of Schmidt's results and obliged with a detailed article. Their magnum opus, Every Planar Map is Four Colorable, a book claiming a complete and detailed proof, appeared in 1989 and explained Schmidt's discovery and several further errors found by others. Simplification and verification Since the proving of the theorem, efficient algorithms have been found for four-coloring maps requiring only O time, where N is the number of vertices. In 1996, Neil Robertson, Daniel P. Sanders, Paul Seymour, and Robin Thomas created a quadratic time algorithm, improving on a quartic time algorithm based on Apple and Hacken's proof. This new proof is similar to Apple and Hacken's but more efficient because it reduces the complexity of the problem and requires checking only 633 reducible configurations. Both the unavoidability and reducibility parts of this new proof must be executed by computer and are impractical to check by hand. In 2001, the same authors announced an alternative proof by proving the Snark theorem. In 2005, Benjamin Werner and Georges Gonia formalized a proof of the theorem inside the Koch proof assistant. This removed the need to trust the various computer programs used to verify particular cases, it is only necessary to trust the Koch kernel.